Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick story time and that is about my husband Matt's experience with his wedding band. This jeweler is where Matt purchased my engagement ring and my wedding ring and I am completely satisfied with both of my rings and so I still really like the company. It was just one bad experience. And I briefly talked about this in my previous video which was my wedding tips and advice video um, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit. So like I said in that video, um, we purchased our wedding bands together and since Matt told the sales associate at the jewelry store that he uh, works with his hands a lot. He is a garage door technician and he was just really worried as to what damage he could cause on a ring. We were advised to look at and go with the tungsten ring section of the like jewelry store. So we were looking through that. He wanted something that was very masculine and he also wanted something that had some bling to it, some diamonds. We found this really, really nice black one and I will insert a picture of that right now. As you can see with his ring, there is a strip of diamonds and with the tungsten rings, we were told that they are virtually indestructible. They are a type of material that really can't get ruined. And so we thought that since he has such a hands-on career, that that would be the best option for him. Unfortunately, we weren't really told and we weren't aware or we just didn't realize that those rings, since they are pretty much undestructible, they are also unworkable. So they cannot get resized. So after the wedding, Matt's ring was just a bit too big for him. It was definitely not something that he felt comfortable wearing while working just because it was too easy for it to slip off. So he went back to the jeweler he asked what his options were in resizing. Since it is an unworkable metal, it had to be reordered. So the original wedding ring that I gave him on the wedding day had to be um, taken back and then he ordered his size. He had to pay $40 for that resizing or like the exchange of the rings. And that is something that he was told that he would have to pay for life, whether he needed it sized bigger or smaller, it would be a $40 fee, which I was kind of upset about because like I said, I really didn't realize that that would be a charge every time his weight fluctuates. So with my rings, both of my rings, I am able to go there whether I need two sizes up or two sizes down, they are able to do that free of charge. And for some reason I just didn't realize that when we purchased his original ring. Then about three weeks later, he received his ring and literally a week after um, he received it, he was working out in the backyard. He was building a play place for Aiden and the strip of diamonds that you saw in that picture completely disattached itself from the ring. And what was really surprising and really disappointing is that Number one, we were not able to find that strip of diamonds. I'm sure it is buried somewhere near that play house or play place in the backyard underneath all that dirt that he was digging up. It sucks because we were told that this is an undestructible ring and that it can be worn during work. And so I don't feel the blame should be put on Matt for wearing it during that labor because that's the whole reason that we purchased that ring. But what was really surprising is that the strip of diamonds was glued onto the ring. And the more I tell the story, the more I realize how crazy it is just by the people's reaction that I'm telling it to. Like, how can a strip of diamonds be glued onto a ring that is said to be undestructible? I was shocked like you were able to see the residue of the glue underneath that strip of diamonds and I was honestly so pissed off that was the second ring that was the resized one so it was really honestly fairly new and for that strip of diamonds to come off a week after he got that new ring was just shocking to me and so I called the jeweler and there was not much that they could do because we originally purchased this ring back in December of 2015 when we picked out both of our bands. And so we were past our 30 day return period. Um, 
So I just stood my ground. I kept telling them how upset I was, how much money we've invested between all three of our rings at that specific jeweler, and I was not going to give this up without a fight. I thought it was ridiculous and I just kept stating my point. And so eventually they agreed to do like an override thing and we were able to exchange his ring for less than or equal value. Or of course we had the option to pick out a more expensive ring and just pay the difference. But I was satisfied with that answer. I knew that this jeweler does have good rings. It is a very well-known jeweler, I will say that. It's not like a little local, you know, one shop company. Um, it's a very well-known jeweler. And so I wasn't really afraid of purchasing another ring. I just knew we had to steer clear of tungsten with diamonds. Like I said in my previous video, I'm sure the tungsten quality could be indestructible. I just will never, ever, ever trust a tungsten with diamonds. The tungsten material does not have the ability to have diamonds set. So if you are contemplating a tungsten ring with diamonds, definitely ask questions. I would be shocked if you were able to find a tungsten ring with diamonds set into the ring as opposed to them being glued. I would just be very, very, very careful in choosing that ring. Like I mentioned, you don't get a warranty with it, so it's just a gamble, really. So we went back to the jeweler and we stayed far away from the tungsten section. He was able to find a really, really nice white gold ring, and I will insert a picture of that right now. And with the white gold ring, it comes with all of the warranties, which is great. It is worth the extra amount that we paid for this. I think it is a lifetime warranty. It's the same as both of my rings. His ring will need to get checked uh, every six months just to ensure the quality and to keep that warranty active. Uh, but if he loses a diamond, if it gets scratched, if he needs it resized, that is all taken care of by the jeweler, free of charge, and it just leaves us with a really good peace of mind, especially coming out of such a bad situation with his initial ring. Just be very careful and make sure your diamonds aren't glued. I don't know, it sounds kind of crazy when you're talking about like actual diamonds to think that they are just glued. Um, I don't know. It sounds crazy to me. And If white gold isn't your thing for whatever reason and you are leaning towards the tungsten, I would just maybe purchase one without diamonds just so you don't run into issues with them falling out. It has already stated that he likes the feel of the white gold a lot better. It is less like bulky, less heavy, and just feels more comfortable on his fingers. So there's that comparison. And like I said, with the white gold, you just get those warranties and you just get the reassurance that you're not gonna run into problems. You're not going to have to spend more money if you need it resized. You never know if your ring size will change and not having to pay $40 every single time your fingers change is definitely a positive. I think that it's worth the difference in what you're going to spend for a white gold ring in comparison to the tungsten. So that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have heard any stories like that or if you've had any similar situations happen to you. Just let me know your thoughts on this little story time. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you're able to pass this information along to someone that might need it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I would honestly very much appreciate it. Also make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos. I have so many down there. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me and my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.